In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge our sins, preparing to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Jesus came into this world to be one of us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus died on the cross to save us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Jesus rose from the dead to give us courage and hope. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and Amen. on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this, you who trample upon the needy and destroy the poor of the land. When will the new moon be over, you ask, that we may sell our grain and the Sabbath, that we may display the wheat? We will diminish the ephah, add to the shekel, and fix our scales for cheating. We will buy the lowly for silver and the poor for a pair of sandals. Even the refuse of the wheat we will sell. The Lord has sworn by the pride of Jacob, never will I forget a thing they have done. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. St. Paul to Timothy, beloved, first of all, I ask that supplications, prayers, petitions, and thanksgivings be offered for everyone, for kings and for all in authority, that they may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and dignity. This is good and pleasing to God our Savior, who wills everyone to be saved and to come to, know, and to, come to knowledge of the truth, for there is one God. There is also one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all. 
This was the testimony at the proper time. For this I was appointed preacher and apostle. I am speaking the truth. I am not lying. Teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. It is my wish then that in every place the men should pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. The word of the Lord. Be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, What is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, what shall I do now that my master is taking the position of steward away from me? I am not strong enough to dig. I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do so that when I am removed from the stewardship, they may welcome me into their home. He called in his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? He replied, One hundred measures of oil. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Sit down quickly, write one for fifty. Then to another the steward said, And you, how much do you owe? He replied, One hundred cores of wheat. The steward said to him, here's your promissory note, write one for 80. And the master commended that dis dishonest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than are the children of light. I tell you, make friends for yourselves with dishonest wealth so that when it fails, you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings. The, the person who is trustworthy in very small matters is also trustworthy in great ones. And the, and the person who is dishonest in very small matters is also dishonest in great ones. If, therefore, you are not trustworthy with dishonest wealth, who will trust you will with true wealth. If you are not trustworthy with what belongs to, to another, who will give you what is yours? No servant can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and mammon. The Gospel of the Lord. There is a story about a man who set out to rob a bank. He parked his motorcycle, motorcycle outside the bank uh, to be used to, for a quick escape. He went into the bank, robbed it, and ran out of the bank only to find that someone stole his motorcycle. To be honest with one another is simply common sense. In order to get along and trust one another, we must indicate that others can trust us. We need to tell the truth.
to be fair in our dealings with others. It is our hope others will do the same to us. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Catholic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, in the life of the world to come. Amen. Christ, saw, uh, Christ the new Adam, has destroyed uh, sin and recreated us in his image. United to him, let us offer our prayers to God the Father. For Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the elected leaders of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those whose lives are in danger because of war, poverty, abortion, euthanasia, terrorism, or other persecution, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick or suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, all life comes from you and finds fulfillment by returning to you. Grant that the prayers we make in Christ's name hasten the coming of your kingdom and assist us in glorifying your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept our sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, 
that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Count of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us all go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, the defend us, us in battle. Be our protection, protection against, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And the now Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Hi, everybody. Bishop Callahan here. Please allow me to say thank you for your support of the televised Mass. Your support continues to make this Mass available to all the people of our diocese. God bless you for that, and please continue your support. We need you, and we definitely depend upon your support in prayer. God be with you.